Hello guys, this is the Spiritual Assassin coming back with extended messages for the Aquarians. I posted my first video on TikTok, so if any of you guys have followed from TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram over to YouTube, this is the extended version for all zodiac signs that I have done for you guys. Without further ado, let's let me give you a disclaimer on um, how to discern and resonate these messages to your situation. Remember, I said things like he and she um, because of the face, face value of the card. Remember, masculine energies can um, adopt feminine energies and vice versa. So take what resonates, fit, fit the part what uh, fits your situation. Do not take something that doesn't belong to you and put it in your situation. I do read for millions of pe uh, people across the globe so please do not make something that does fits make something that fits to be in your situation that doesn't um if this video don't resonate with you then i have plenty more videos you can check it check from if uh you choose to uh, uh look for more videos um if uh you are uh interested in a personal read you can uh contact me on facebook messenger um, username is Starseed, or you can reach me at um, creativeilluminations.net for um, booking appointments for um, for your personal readings. Remember, all messages that I do for the collective are general, so that means that this may not be your situation, or bits and pieces of these messages may resonate with you so take what needs to be taken and disregard the rest remember to discern um and i have nothing else to say about that so let's go ahead and continue i have already saged over your cards prayed over your cards meditated over your cards so let's continue to get these messages for you guys um as i told on the extended um version that you guys are un need to be uninhibited so you guys need to open up release and uh, be comfortable in your own skin is what I'm getting from this card. Um, just to let you guys know, there's three different energies here. There's a masculine energy here that's in survival mode. Someone uh, could be, this is my, um, you know what I'm saying, your, my grinder card. I hope you out there in the street, street pharmacist card. Um, this is for, for those people. So you may be dealing with a hustler. Or you could have a nine to five that you're busting there if they grind it. So take it as it resonates. I see there is a main female in reverse. So we know this is a karmic. Uh, this person may be out of the picture now. Or this person, someone found out this person is karmic and uh, possibly got rid of them. I don't know. We'll continue as we uh, pull the card. To see what's going on yeah this person that's this main female that's in reverse from my deck is confirming that she is a prostitute so someone has been found out about who they really are and this person uh lost they they have a sense of loss they are lacking uh they are in low vibrational they uh they have fear uh, that they're surrounding around they are using vic victim victimization uh, to make or to make people feel sorry for them uh, instead of taking uh, their own bootstraps by their own uh, hands and making things work for them. They're not being wise about a situation. They need to be wise. Well, maybe they fear, but for, they, they fear for what they don't know is what I'm getting. Forgive them, Father, for they don't know what they do is what I'm getting from this. I see that somebody is in the five of pentacles energy someone um may have lost financial stability someone possibly lost their house somebody could possibly be going through eviction um it could be two people that's going within this change but at the end of the day they still have the pinnacle that's here they still can get they still can get to these pinnacles if they choose to they may have to uh make sac certain sacrifices to get to these pinnacles but there's still a, a outcoming, a better outcome that can happen if they choose to make that better outcome. But there are secrets that's in this relationship or secrets that's around you collective um, with the moon being here. 
and it's a crab coming out of the water. So there could be a cancer sign that's involved here. Or, mm -mm. And then the moon is letting us know there are secrets. Somebody could be howling at the moon doing magic. There's a, um, a family in a reverse here with the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this family dynamic has been crushed. It, it was karmic. There was, there was betrayal here. And with this betrayal card of a family situation being here, you left somebody in a pentacles, um, in a leg mindset, and possibly um, someone got kicked out of a situation, out of a home, because secrets was um, revealed or secrets was found out. That's what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and finish um, seeing what the other messages is I got for you guys. Yeah, I see that collective, you are in your earth mother energy. You feel loved and comforted by the universe. You are going through transformation. You are connecting to the most high. You are grounded. You are fruitful. You have abundance. You have joy. 606 on the screen when I said that. You could be pregnant or you be pregnant with ideas. You're connected to the moon. You could be a moon goddess. And so it says honor. You, you could be honoring your um, inner knowing. Or you need to honor your inner knowing. Or you know that the knowledge that you possess is an inner knowing for you to display to the masters. Is what I'm getting. Yeah. And then so it says trust your talents. In changing times so this might not be the best time for you but you still ch ch still trust your talents and put faith in the most high because the your spirit animals will guide you to the right direction you need to go to but trusting your instincts even if this is not the best time for you you possibly got Cherokee for some reason Cherokee is speaking out to me Yeah, your spirit animal is here guiding you. You might need to look up the fox symbol, symbolism, and see how that um, corresponds to you. Yeah, I see tribal feathers here, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have the ability to lock the magic within. So whatever you're doing... You are this uh, earth angel that is unlocking the magic. You have the power, the ability, the anointment from the Most High. You are golden. You have sacred knowledge. You could probably be in palmistry. And you're a medicine healer. You have scribes written on you. Because you, you have DNA Activated in you for you to use your powers. All you gotta do is unlock it, is what I'm getting from this card. So it says, Stop worrying, it's gonna be okay. It says, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, it doesn't. All you're doing is put more stress on you, so stop the worrying. And so it says, You have purpose. I know that I'm here to what I, I I know what I am here to do. You know what you are here to do. You have drive, you have perseverance, and you have purpose. You know what your destiny is. And all you gotta do is just let loose and, and let go and continue following your divine path. Uh, so it says that you may need to uh loosen up a little bit. You need more humor into your life. So Someone is saying they chose they choose to focus on the lighter side of life or you're focusing on the lighter side of life. Maybe the things that you come across or certain situations that you've seen that was stressful. You're laughing at them now. Like, damn, was I was that was I that serious? <laughs> like, it's, that's not even that serious. So you're making, uh, you know, just a light joke of everything that you have went through, which is good because you're opening up your heart chakra. So good job on that. Nothing wrong with having a little humor, especially going through these difficult times we've been going through, right? Yeah, I see that you have caused judgment on the situation. Yeah, you're saying, I understand that everyone um, has their own unique path and challenges. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So a judgment situation, you may be releasing a, a situation that... Uh, 
that particular energy doesn't resonate with your energy and but you realize that it's okay to leave people alone um but you have to do what's best for you uh you don't uh downplay what they're going through but you know that god is taking you somewhere higher so you have to continue to climb to where god is taking you telling you to go you know it may hurt to leave certain people behind but at the same time uh if you're vibrating on a whole nother level everybody can't go with you so you have to call judgment and follow through with the most high i want you to do it may not be easy thing to do but it's something that we have to do in order for us to uh listen to god and be, stay on a divine path judgment card is is not an easy card but it's a necessary card for us to make i hope that makes sense to you guys after you call judgment you will receive love or uh, you or you do have love in your heart. You will receive love. The universe loves you. It says, love, I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. So, yeah, it's going back to uh, even if you had to call judgment on something, you still love that person or that thing. But it was necessary for you to cut that thing off or that person off in order for you to move forward, especially if it had negative uh, energies that was around it. So you're not um, doing them a favor or you a favor by keeping indulging or what I want to say. Um, being a codependent um, on something or someone or uh, being a crutch on someone or what I want to say. It's another word I want to say. Um, I can't think of a word for it. Let's just continue. <laughs> um, yeah. And the universe says you will have abundance by following the, the divine plan. Yeah, there are secrets that was in this connection or there are secrets that's in this connection or it was secrets in this connection dealing with um, a water sign and a cancer in reverse. Yep. Enabler. That's the word I was looking for. So, yeah. So, we don't want to enable anyone or... Um, Hindering them, hinder them. So that's the word I was looking for before, guys. <laughs> we don't want to enable, and that's why sometimes we have to call judgment on situations so we don't enable or not only them but ourselves from our reaching our highest potential. There we go. Thank you, source, for helping me with that word. All right, and I also see that it is safe for you to love, open your heart, to give, and receive the highest energy of all. But it's in reverse. I feel like someone had uh, put all their hopes into a karmic energy. And now they're seeing the truth for the karmic. Um, or a source is telling you that do not trust this person that's in your energy. Um, yet because it's some sneaky, deceitful, mischievous things that's going on is what I'm getting. Especially if it's saying it's, uh, it's, it's safe to love, but it's not safe to love because it's in reverse. And it's by this moon card because this person got plenty of secrets. And then there will not be a honeymoon for a particular situation. There will not be a honeymoon. It says enjoy the bliss holiday time together. You will not enjoy a, um, the next holiday together possibly. There will not be a honeymoon. This person is not safe to love. This person has got secrets. This person could possibly be um, someone that's a hustler. A person that could be a prostitute, this prostitute, this, that's this main female that has, uh, they use victimization, victimiz victimiz victimization uh, to keep people trapped in to her. She plays on people's um, weaknesses. She's in a, a lack poverty mindset, but she has a way to get the getting out of this. But she chooses not to uh, leave this type of mindset. She also got somebody else that's in her energy that she's going to drag along with her into um, poverty. Somebody buries they self and work to forget you. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get some more messages. And we're going to end this reading. 
Oh, yeah. Somebody was being a gambler. And you saying, no, nah, let me stop you in your tracks. You won't gamble me. And I'm going to just get a couple more cards. And then we're going to end this reading. Can I get three cards, Source? There's a wealthy man here. Can I get one more? There's a wealthy. There's two males that's in your energy. You have a wealthy man that's here. And you have a mature man that's here. And you have a woman of occupation that's here. So it seems like two men are trying to get after this one female. You have a wealthy man and a, uh, a older man with occupation trying to uh, go after this main female, this woman of occupation, someone who will be very detailed in her work, very meticulous, very um, uh, in tune with herself, especially with the light going off on the card. That's her intuition speaking to her, but she's very um, uh, methodically um, concentrated on her work, her craft. She's quilting something beautifully together. And there's a court situation going on. We have a wealthy man and a mature man. Someone isn't wanting to change. Someone doesn't want to change their ways. There's a, mature, a man woman here. So it seems like this um, wealthy man is not willing to change some type of ways. Maybe he doesn't want to change... A, what he, who he view or who he with, cause he, huh? He doesn't want to change what he got with this main woman. Okay, I'm gonna just take these. They came out. All right, so these are the cards that came out. So there's a community that's here that's involved in this connection. The community know about this woman of occupation. This wealthy man is not willing to change. There's a message of concern that this uh, mature man wants to come and tell you. There's a false person in reverse. So there was a false person that was in your energy. They are not there now. Because there was adjudication process that happened. And the community know about this false person. They knew about this false person. They knew that the truth was going to be told. Hmm. This woman of occupation isn't concerned. She has no concern about whatever that's going on with this situation. There's no, this marriage is, um, has been halted. If someone is trying to come into you, there will not be a message. Well, if there was a, ma a marriage that was going on uh, without your acknowledgement, this marriage is coming to an this, uh, end. This mature man is possibly about to tell someone about a marriage in, a marriage in reverse. About a privileged lady that's in reverse that stole from him. This is in the near future. So I get a woman of, I see a woman of occupation. Someone thought somebody was a woman of, a uh, woman of, uh, great potential or had a business plan going on or had some type of intuitive, uh, gift, but someone isn't worried about her no more. I see a master number 33. You could be a master number 33. I see a wealthy man 
who didn't want to change the subject. They he really wanted to be with this person. It's a karmic person. This is what I'm talking about. This this prostitute female. This is who I'm talking to. He didn't want to change. He wanted to be with this person, but this person wore a false mask. He knows now that this person wasn't willing to change their ways. That this person is a false person, and he has to go to. He's going to court about this. The community know about this. With the cards coming up in reverse, that's letting me know that this a situation going to be finalized. Or is about to be finalized in the current situation. And in the um, future, whoever he thought this false person was, or she took it as a resident, he found out they was a thief. He thought they was a privileged lady. They possibly was married, but it's in reverse now. Both the privileged lady is reversed and marriage is reversed. There's a message of concern that's going to come in about this situation from a mature man. Is what I'm getting from these messages. So that is what I got for you guys. I think I got a couple more. I want to pull. Yeah, there's been death and rebirth to a situation. So in order for a new situation to begin, a, a old one has to end. In order for a new situation to end, a old a old situation needs to come. Uh, to a uh, stop needs to come to an end. Thank you. I'm getting my words twisted. <laughs> yeah, somebody tried to sacrifice you, collector. Somebody tried. Yeah, this false person tried to sacrifice you. I feel like that you are this um woman of occupation that has no concern. Honestly, <laughs> you just mind your business and then into your craft. Yeah, I'm talking to a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You coming up in your own reading. Time is of the essence. And remember to stay focused. And that's all I have for you, Aquarians. Have a great um, morning, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.